In the 13 months since President Biden was inaugurated, claims of the big lie have not slowed down. For the record, the Texas midterm primaries are less than two weeks away, and Republican candidates are still spouting lies that this 2020 election was stolen or votes were fraudulent. Here are three House candidates from the same Texas congressional debate earlier this month. And I do believe the election was stolen. 81 million votes for Joe Biden. I, I just don't believe it. Absolutely, the election was stolen. Does anyone in this room think that Joe Biden got 81 million votes? No. I believe there was enough nefarious activity going on across the country that there should have been a forensic audit. But I, I do believe that um, it was taken from us. Where's all the evidence for that? So there are 143 Republicans running for Congress in Texas, and the Houston Chronicle asked them all if they think the 2020 presidential election was legitimate. Of the 87 who shared their stance, only 13 said they believed it was. 42 thought it was outright stolen, and another 12 said there were enough irregularities to cast doubt over the election. But this isn't just a Texas problem, it's nationwide. I'm running for Senate to stop the insanity, stop the wokeness, and stop the Democrats from stealing another election. So I need your help. And then we'll help Donald Trump make America great again, again. If you want to keep corrupt politicians from rigging elections, let's go. The Georgians are sick and tired. But we need spineless politicians who won't fight for Trump, get to the bottom of 2020, and fix our elections. Well, if they won't do it, Mike Collins will. Those are just some of the many ads running nationwide. The ramifications of the big lie extend far beyond the ballot box. It's even becoming a legal defense. In court, Oath Keepers founder Stuart Rhodes still claims the 2020 election was illegitimate. And according to Politico, his lawyer says this shouldn't be counted against him. Why? He's pointing to the public leader still pushing this false narrative. Last month, NPR found that at least 20 Republican candidates running for Secretary of State across the country questioned the validity of Biden's 2020 win. As a reminder, many Secretaries of State, they are the ones responsible for administering elections and maintaining official election results. We should note that not all Republicans are propping up the big lie. Last month, South Dakota Senator Mike Rounds had this to say about the 2020 election. The election was fair, as fair as we've seen. Uh, we simply did not win the election as Republicans for the presidency. This, no surprise, drew the ire of Trump. He lashed out and said Senator Mike Rounds of the great state of South Dakota just went woke on the fraudulent presidential election of 2020. Is he crazy or just stupid? I will never endorse this jerk again. Senate Minority Leader uh, Mitch McConnell came to Senator Round's defense saying that he told the truth and that he agrees with him. It seems though public leaders in the GOP standing up for the truth are losing the battle against the election deniers. For the record, the big lie continues to be the litmus test for GOP loyalty. And come election day, many ballots at all levels of government are poised to be filled with election denying Republican candidates who have a decent chance of winning in a fair and free election.